Mansa micro micro me babi mansa. Minga jimie, bicho zimu. Mene me ya komi wongo suswa mama suso kora. Zobe zoba ya me fanye, baka ya mukfa che munya munye ni. Ebi ya uche se muche muna hoka. Boys, yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Mm, first of all, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, it's Moise Poiti. Moise Poiti. Poiti, yeah. yeah. From which side of Cameroon? From East Cameroon. So, Is it there? Uh, East Cameroon. Anglophone or the no, Francophone, Francophone side. I'm from uh, Francophone side, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> from Douala or Yaoundé? Not Douala or Yaoundé, but from, uh, let's say, Betwa. Another Betwa. Uh, town, yeah. So, how come you, you found yourself in a predominantly French-speaking part of Cameroon and still manage to speak good English? Uh, I think the problem is, I'm not going to say it's a problem because I learned everything at school. So, what I can say now is from school. But I didn't do English school. I just like, okay, because we used to have like English classes, then I was, I was good at it. And uh, when I realized that I wanted to like to play football, and I yeah, I said that okay, English is uh, everywhere, so I have to learn. I have to take it seriously. That's it. This is uh, it's almost your two years in Ghana. How yeah. do you find the country? What difference? Is um, I'm used to you know. I'm used to travel, going around. The world. I mean, I, I, I'm used to it, so I just manage myself. Always trying to be like, uh, but it's true that sometimes I feel homesick. But uh, yeah, I manage myself. I, I don't have a difficulty to put food and stuff. So everything is okay. It's normal. So Africa is is my country. <laughs> we can say that. Like. You mentioned food. Uh, have you found any favorites? And do you prepare your meals? And the last time I was there, where you were trying to blend things and yeah, yeah, took me I was out trying. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling. Uh, first of all, I'm not a good cooker, so I just like okay, try to manage so I can do something to like to to manage myself. But the, my favorite food uh, is uh, the bean stew. The way you guys are doing it, yeah, bean stew and. Um, yeah, with meat inside. Yeah, yeah that's that's all. Yeah, I think yeah, for the moment that's all. So the comparison of the Ghanaian meal, the variety of meals, as I've been in uh, Douala, Yaoundé, I've tasted Ndole, yeah, and other meals in uh, yeah. Cameroon. How do you find Ghanaian food? Yeah, it's very different. It's very different. But you have sometimes here in Ghana, you have to taste it before you judge it. So don't don't just uh, see it and uh, I don't know. Not just see it and, and make a choice. You have to taste it before you, yeah. And uh, finally, it's, uh, it tastes good and yeah. So I, I'm enjoying it. Okay. I'm enjoying it. So what has been your stay a smooth one for for you, for somebody who is coming from a part of Africa who has, has things in the United States and in Ghana? Who is that person? What is that thing that has made you your stay in Ghana a good one? Ah, uh, but I don't, I don't really hear your question. So can you repeat it? I'm saying that uh, you you've traveled to different countries, yeah. and this is you are almost in your second year in Ghana. Yeah. What has made your stay comfortable, and who who is that person mm. that has helped you settle? Um, I'm gonna say like me. I I am. I I don't know how to say, but I fit everywhere. Okay. Yeah, and I can easily fit. No matter where I'm I just manage and stay like uh, humble and like it's easy for me because people love me. And I'm going to say the guy who helped me first was uh, our former uh, team, our former players, uh, Akito. Mm -hmm. Yes, it started with Akito, the way he approached me, the way he yeah, that guide me. I can talk about uh, uh, Apia, Tenda. I can talk about Danla too because I was close to Danla and it was easy for me to fit in the team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you've had a couple of games, not that many games for Kotoko. And since you came, the first day you came, I saw you up to now. 
would you say that you've learned a lot from your training, your coaches, and you've improved so much from the first time you came? You know, we always learn. We learn every day. So there's always something to learn each day, each session, each training. I didn't play that much, but uh, the, the most important thing is confidence. You know, when you are playing and as, as a goalkeeper, it's very, very, very different, like an uh, outfield player. So you have to like stay focused, keep working, and when your time comes, and be positive and use it well. The most important is confidence. You can take a useless player, but you give him the confidence, it deliver for you, so that's it. <laughs> How do you find the competition, the unity among your department at goalkeepers? See, we have the best set of goalkeepers in that country, and goalkeeping is not like outfield playing that you keep changing. Yeah. How do you find the competition and then the quality and your relationship with each of them? I think the first thing is uh, uh, how can I say it? Our behavior, because. We are very professional because uh, we are friends. That's the first thing. Because if we were no friend, no matter uh, the, the 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 difficulty, no matter because um, uh, we are we are fighting for the same post. But it doesn't it doesn't matter for us because the most important is Kotoko. We have to win or we have to deliver for the team. We are doing everything for the team. So we, we, we fight for it, we, we are together, we give advices, and we are listening to even the, the new guy, Fatao, who just come if you have an advice, we are, we, are, we are ready to listen. So I think it's um, our friendship before the game. Because the game just come after, the, 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 the competition just come after. The most important is uh, that friendship, that relationship between us, and uh, yeah, that's, that's how, uh, we don't care about who who, who, are, who is going to play, so that's why we can change. If when you see you feel that we can change, if someone is not there, there's no problem. Yeah, that's how, that's how it is. Yeah, for every profession, professional, or in any profession you find yourself, you always want to have the opportunity to try. But in most of the matches, if not kept, you you've seen you giving a word of advice or even on the bench trying to have a word or two for the goalkeeper. How do you cultivate that attitude and how does that thing come? Yeah, I think first, the first thing is that because uh, I, I have to play my part. Me, I'm the type of guy, I can't sit down and let somebody uh, like fight for me. Like, is working, is playing for the team for my, like, let's say, bonuses. So it's working for the bonuses. So I'm, I'm sitting down and I see something, I can't say anything. That means I'm not helping the team. Now it's not about who is playing. It's about the team now, at that time. That's why I'm always active, even I'm, I'm at the bench. Always active, always positive, because the, 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 the most important thing at the end of the day is uh, the three point. Yeah. yeah. In the FA Cup, when you were keeping the post, your colleagues were all very happy on the bench for you, celebrating every save that you make. How does that kind of reaction from your, co your, your teammates, your goalkeeping department makes you feel? And most importantly, how do you feel when you hear supporters uh, mentioning your name, applauding what uh, you do with the little minutes that you get? Yeah, you know, it didn't start a war for me when I came, let's be honest, because, you know, every time when you go some places, you have to fit in. And uh, some teams, they need more and a uh, lot of pressure. I think the way I act with them, let's say with my teammates to encourage me, the way I act with them is the same thing, it's just return to me. So if, I'm, if I don't have a good attitude with them, especially when they are doing mistakes or when they are wrong, they will not do the same with me. So that's easy. I don't need to force them to do something. It's just natural. So I'm nice with them, encourage them, be positive, and yeah, everything will just return to me. That's what is happening. Yeah. So on the scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the unity, the chemistry among you as a group? 
and the goalkeeper's department and or, then the team and the team but i'm going to say the goalkeeper department is like 100 yeah. percent yeah but with the field players yeah we can go like uh, 90 percent yeah because we are a little bit um it's a team but we are more fr- i'm more i have more friends in the goalkeeper's department than the yeah so we didn't start well in this season we had a very poor start now the team is trying is picking up you are very te- uh, technical looking at the performance of each and every player and the progression that comes with it are you convinced that if we are able to keep the same momentum and we'll keep the rhythm are you convinced that possibly we might end up winning the trophy yeah of course of course we just need to i know fans sometimes they they, they need like they, they they need more they need more they want victories after victories but we are we are trying to give the win to win the game we are trying to give victories yeah give uh, uh, our best and uh, sometimes things are not working well yeah but i, I think but when i see the team when i see how we are working how we are pushing we can deliver we can deliver we just need to score more than the opening that's the football now yeah. that's the football now yeah. you've worked under different managers even last season you worked with a different manager now you are working with dr cross panate how do you see him as a person as a teacher and what makes him different and what have you learned so far from him? uh i can't really mention all that i learned but it's always good to like meet a new coach and uh, but with the uh, doctor is very close it's close to the players and uh it, how can i say it he always say the truth so we don't hide things from players if something is not going well or you have a problem and you can go and talk to talk with him and he will tell you what you have to do or which part of your game you have to improve. Like me, especially when I have something, when I feel that something is not going well, I have to go close. I want to, I want to, I'm I'm bringing like questions because I need uh, answers and how to work, how to perform, how to be like, to stay calm and positive. And to stay like I am doing is not that uh, I don't feel things, but <laughs> I just have to be strong and lie. That's the game because sometimes I'll play, another time I'll not play. So there's when I play, some someone is on the bench, so I have to just be strong and play. Uh, it's very important to have a coach like him because it's easy to interact. It's easy to to communicate with him. Um, I want us to look at uh, the first conversation I had with you yeah. when I first saw you in Ghana was that uh, are you happy being here and how long do you wish to be here you told me <laughs> if you can if you have a lifetime contract you want to be here yeah 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 that's do, do you remember that yeah one? I still do, remember <laughs> do you still stay by it's that? the same thing it's the same thing because I like the play I like the team first because I've been hearing when I was in Cameroon when yeah. was in you were coming, you heard about Kotoko. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big team, especially in Africa, it's a big team. So it's a, it's a, a pleasure to be here. It's always, um, I don't know. Did, I, I want before to, you joined, did you ever watch Kotoko game? Yes. Were you at the start of the day when they beat Kotoko's sport? No, no, no. I was not there, but I was listening. Like yeah, I was aware when something is happening. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm aware that okay, they do this, they do that. Yeah, just like that, because uh, I didn't know that I, I'll come okay. here. Yeah. Um, you love music. I've seen you a couple of times playing some music. Which Ghanaian artist or musician do you love to listen to, and why? I know. Uh, when was the first time that you heard of him? <laughs> the first of all is Bisakaidi. I don't know him. Bisakaidi. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bisakaidi. I don't know him, and uh, I do. I listened his, his song. I was. I think it was in US when I first listened his song. And me, I'm no. I don't care about the language. If the if it sounds good, I'll try to listen and I like difficult things so when something is difficult and I want to sing like the person I make sure that okay I just wrote it down just listening to the song try to wrote it like I can so, so, so 
Yes. What, what, was, what was that song that you heard from Bisa Kede? That it was a uh, Madame Fo. I don't know the title, but yeah. I think it's that's, Madame Fo. That's Fou. the title. Uh-huh. The title is Madame Fo. Yes, it's uh-huh. my Madame Fo. And can you can you can you sing a lot? <laughs> I want to. I, we want to know if. I want to know if you can sing a line of like. Ah, uh, but I'm I'm not going to be like perfect. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'll just, obviously. I'll, I'll so just manage. We want to know. Maybe Visa <laughs> will feature you one of his songs. So let, let's yeah, yeah. See. Um, let's see. I have. Ominga jimie, bicho zimu. Me ne me ya komi onko suswa ma me sokora. So bezo ba ya me fo anye ba ka ye mo pa che mo nya mo nye nye e bi nya wo tre se mo tre mo na ho ka da so da so okay oh you know it's it's yeah. it's a very beautiful song and, yeah yeah and yeah. besides a, a high life a songwriter and then performer and i know in the francophone countries they listen to yes yes so do you wish to meet him someday do you want yeah to, is a, to it's going him? to be i would love it i would love to do that then uh, exchange it, with him is, like, is, is madame for the only song you know no i know madame for i know uh mansa yeah i know mansa yeah, Mansa. I used to dance on that beat too. So, <laughs> so Mansa, you can sing Mansa too. Uh, Mansa, manage. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Let's be busy here then too. Um, Mansa, micro, micro, be baby, Mansa. Ah, you know the guy. So, once we wrap up, but. Uh, do you, do you have any intention of being a football coach in the future? Because we've seen you, even when games are going on, matches are being played, you can clearly spot where we are lacking, where we are vulnerable, where we need to strengthen. And I've seen you many times uh, talking to your players where they need to up their game, where, what they, they should do at all point in time. Yeah. Is it an indication that you have passion for that? And after hugging your boots or clothes, you would want to venture into. Uh, I think yes. I think yes. It's always outside of my head, but you know, we don't. I have to start it early, but I have some another plan. Like uh, it's always in the football, like man- manager or something like that. But I'll, I'll see. I'll see with the, with time. So for now, I can't say that I will be a coach because it's true that I have. Uh, I always had very good coaches that's why i learned from them and for me it's easy i learn quick yeah i learn quick and like i see what people are doing and understand i understand i have fast understanding that's why i can have the team if i can use it to help the team then it will be great yeah thank you very much boys but uh you are in kumasi uh, do you know any places do you sometimes take a stroll around but you know i don't drink a call so I have a, there is a place in the, not far um, Apradi. Yeah. yeah, there's a pizza. Yeah. So we I don't go out like okay, but when uh, the, all the guys we are going out, I will just follow them. But me, I'm not that. Yeah. So if you are not playing football, if you are not in action, what do you normally do to occupy your time? Ah, uh, yeah, listen to music every kind of music i don't care about the country or the language if it sounds good yeah so that's the same even here in ghana i listen to the their gospel music i don't understand but i know my spirit understand that's why <laughs> so on sunday we have another game and uh, do you think uh, we are going to win? yes of course because it's always um hard when we play a game like the last game and we don't score so we have that kind of um that bad feeling it was like we, we didn't win the game it, it was like we, it was a it was like a defeat yeah so now we are going like okay we are going to make it we are going to give everything we need to score we need to perform where we, we, we didn't and yeah we are going to give our best and uh, hopefully we'll win the game all right, thanks so much, Moise, yeah, for having welcome, you. Welcome. Uh, we meet again some of the time, okay. and we wish you the very best. Subsequently, we meet again and talk about other issues. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.